Raptor with the Goliaths and the Vultures and the Tanks. Now we're seeing uh, the massive army for Kanata as he continues to macro up and the loss of probes at that fourth base and that fifth base completely at the top right starting to strike in for movie as I doesn't look like movies really macroing as well. Um, it doesn't look like he has a lot of units uh, uh, rallying to the area, and Kanata might actually be able to take this in just a uh, kind of a longer game here. Although I think he really should push up the fourth. Like, I'm amazed that he hasn't seen that that fourth base nexus is just in the red, and it hasn't just sent some Goliaths or a couple of vultures and picked it off because that's actually really at the state of where it is and where it should be dead by all rights. And I think movie's actually going to go for another recall, going to get scattered out by an arbiter, and um, and actually could be an, a dual arbiter recall or something like that here. But but um, I think Kanata is responding, going to send some vultures and some goliaths in that area along with a couple tanks. And as long as he's uh, prepared for this, I think he's very, very prepared for this. It's going to be tough for another um, recall to come in here. But I think Movie might actually be best off right now to maybe try and take another base, try and get up a, get up a base. Because he's kind of... I, I don't know if he's really going to be able to macro up the force to really... Uh, really push at this last base. If he can take down the 1230, that could be another option. That's kind of his two choices right now. He either has to take down a base of Kanata or he has to take a base of his own. Like, because if he sits here four base on four base, really two mining, two mining on two mining, it's going to be bad for moving in the long run. Yeah, movie pulling off some just brilliant micro just to take that battle near the middle, near his uh, tool cook base. Oh, going to manage to get one stasis off on a bunch of Goliaths. Jesse gets Arbor kill, get another nice stasis. How do he get that stasis on the freaking far left forge? Get a nice stasis off, going to be able to pick off all those forging ground. Has a huge number of Arbiters, three in this position. I believe he has more. Just Zealots and Dragoons going to move out towards that 1230, going to be able to pick it off. Oh, stasising those Goliaths earlier. Coming off so critical right now. They're just going to get surrounded. Not going to be able to get any damage done on those Arbiters. Vultures and Sciences are milling in right now. Going to get EMPs off. But, oh, Stasis is getting off on some of those Sciences just before that happens. Vultures very heavy on the Vultures. Kanata right now showing how he's being forced to micro, just macro getting a bunch of Vultures instead of the large tank number that he wouldn't want. He is definitely leading in upgrades. Although I think I think one of the critical parts... Yeah. Pardon. I think one of the critical parts was that the lower right hand, lower left hand. I'm sorry. I thought the entire time movie had a base there, but I actually never did manage to put it off. Lost his pawn. Apparently, never actually managed to get a base towards the position. Um, I yeah, and I just saw Kanata pick off. Almost looked like he picked off his own size. I think that was actually an observer, but almost looked like he picked off, shot one of his own size. Was that would have been. So freaking weird if Aegis actually did that. Movie actually getting some Archons now, has only weapons to upgrade. Getting Archons, moving forward to the lower left hand position. And followed by the Kakaru. Ooh, followed by the Kakaru. That's probably a song somewhere. But moving a lot of his forces, apparently, toward the lower left hand position, actually, possibly thinking of taking a base there. Moving out with a probe, he really needs another base. Not sure of the intelligence of doing it at the lower left hand, although I gotta say that with the fact that Kanata is moving, seems to be milling all of his forces around at the upper position, he's gonna be able to mill up and attack pretty well at the upper right hand position. EMP goes off, catches the Arbiter, gonna get the energy away. Pro Beam will not gonna be able to plan the lower left hand due to mine's gonna have to wait for an observer to come in to help him out. Pretty decent army for movie, and he still has that 3 o'clock base alive, slowly recovering the shields. Just a decent drop on the location would have killed it. And I think, honestly, use those vultures to pick off probes. He could have actually picked off the next. I think he might have not noticed that or something. Moving out with Arbors all over the place. Has a pretty decent army. Very Dragoon heavy. Has Archons to support. We're going to see what he managed to do here. Show up by picking off some mines. Man, my throat hurts. That's why I'm having a dueling partner because I have a freaking cold and it sucks. Gotta get his chases off. Catch a lot of those tanks. He's going to be able to free to move in. Those science will come in. They're going to be able to PMP. Those Arbiters are not going to be able to get off any more stasis, but I think the ones he got pretty good. Goliaths are going to come in. He's not going to be able to MP those Goliaths, so he's going to lose some of those Arbiters. But moving in with Dragoons, Archons sitting around, not really doing anything, waiting for them to splash damage. I think, honestly, having would have going for High Templar would have possibly been a little bit smarter. Maybe couldn't afford getting researching Storm or something. Actually moving in with some Zealots, getting micro them pretty well, despite the fact that a lot of mines there did lose most of his ground army. He has only a couple Arbiters, a few Dragoons. Those Dragoons actually attacking the command center alongside Archon, as if he's desperately trying to repair, and he's not going to manage to take that out, going to be forced to retreat with his forces across that bridge. But Movie's still playing very beautiful, harassing play. I honestly thought it would have managed to do more damage at that 1230 location. Kanata moving in with Force just in time, actually going to move in with Oliver to the lower left hand to get that Nexus going. But still, I wouldn't call this an even game because Kanata just has managed to keep up a larger army and has done some very good EMPs, making those Arbiters not as effective as they would have been, but still Movie managed to micro around very well, using those Arbiters to the best of his ability. Kind of lose some probes that were moving to the lower left hand, I assume. But I think in an 
huge forward engagement. This could be Kanata's match. And Kanata's actually going to finally go for the 3 o'clock. It is going to go down right there. And that could have been the one single critical factor that could give Kanata the game. Yeah, because at this point, Kanata's not moving. That lower left hand base, the Nexus goes out in off position, but it's not mining yet. And now Kanata's starting to move in at the natural expansion of the nat. Or, well, no, I guess that'd be the third base. So the third base is not really mining anymore. The lower left hand base is dying to vultures. And anytime a Nexus dies to vultures, that's just sad. That's just really, really sad. Because, well, vultures don't really do a whole lot of damage to buildings, so it takes a lot of them to take it down. And, um, yeah, that's how much time they had sitting there at the bottom left. Movi just could not afford any units. And um, Kanata's upgrade advantage. Kanata's macro advantage being off of this, pretty much the same number of effective bases for most of the game really came into play here. And um, I think, I mean, yeah, the, the, I, I, I'm pretty much willing to call it at this point. There might be one last push in it for, um, for moving maybe with some great stasis or something. He might have something left. I don't know why he's going for Archons. If you're going for Arbiters and Archons, that's kind of like counterintuitive considering EMP is coming your way and Archons kind of suck versus EMP by definition. And a uh, decent couple good stasis going off there, picking up a lot of the tanks. But um, I think there's just, just might be too many units for, for Kanata. Look at this. I mean, even with the stasis, there's still a ton of tanks. And now Movie can't push across those bridges either. He needs to go across the left hand bridges, not the right hand bridges. And he notices that too late and he's losing a lot of Dragoons as they're trying to move across. And there goes the end of Movie's army. So Movie's not mining and he has no forces on the ground. So, um, by all definition, I think he's lost, and it's just a matter of, of Kanata doing the final push at this point. This is pretty much a, uh, this is like a victory lap time right now. I think Movie has three mineral patches mining total, and Kanata's got, I don't know, he's still got his third base, I think, kind of mining, and his fourth base is fully mining. So, it's just um, a matter of discovering the end at this point, unless, unless somewhere on the mini-map, Movie has found a way to both have a base and keep it in Fog of War. Maybe then movie's still in this, but otherwise he's he's just plain done. I mean, unless you see something I don't ranch, and I think uh, movie's just just completely out of it at this point. No, I'm pretty much reaffirming your statement. He, the, the army that he has was on the ground right there. He has one Archon, Dragoon, several Zealots, and another Archon on the way. And I honestly feel one of the bad decisions he made was getting those Archons. High Tempar would have been so so much more effective. Stasising a bunch of forces, getting your high Templars in position to take out. There is a GG coming in there, so movie is gonna get knocked out. And we are gonna see Kanata moving out in yet another MSL. And actually, I'm quite excited. He's kind of been playing at a higher level in individual tournaments lately, so I'm really excited what he does in round of 16. If he gets a Zerg, I'm gonna be really excited. I think that was Russian writing on that. Okay, that's either said Posabi or that was Russian writing. And no, okay, if it has a. I'm getting confused. Never mind. I was going to say something about the decision making there. Right. High Templar and Archons. Uh, I would have been able to just EMP forces, get him, get his High Templars into position around, pick off the remaining unstasis forces. Then as soon as the re rest of the forces unstasis, just storm the crap out of them. And that's a dead Terran army sitting right at your feet. So one of the several bad decisions you made alongside getting, what, three recalls off, all of which did, well, virtually no significant damage. So, yeah, Hero and Kanata moving out. Uh, any thoughts? Um, I really like seeing Bi Hero move out, and you know, I, I wish it would have been Stork, but Kanata, I mean, he was pretty impressive with his TVP here, taking down Stork and Movie. I mean, Stork is a great PVT or and Movie's uh, got a pretty solid game all around, so, you know, you can't be too disappointed. I mean, Kanata generally does pretty well, at least in all the Star Leagues. It seems like he always just, like, the round of 16 in like every single year and then loses but he always d gets advances at least somewhat and um, before going down so I guess he's I mean he should have some entertaining games coming up here so it's not the worst thing that could have happened it's not like I don't know who would well I think I don't think that there was a bad person to come out of this group to be honest I think I would have been happy with uh, any set of two players coming out yeah I pretty much agree I would have loved Stork Stork and Hero maybe Kanata and Stork I don't know but would have been nice to see those guys move out. Even Movie, I mean, he's very entertaining, but we're going to lose the entertainer. I mean, come on, with a name like Movie, you got to be an entertainer. you got to play entertaining. But overall, I want to say huge thanks for joining me today and giving my throat a bit of rest. Having a cold sucks, but what you can do, you just got to have to live with it. Live with it. Suck it up. Be a man. So, GG, guys. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed. And Group B and C, I believe, is going to be next on Thursday and Friday, respectively. We're hoping that I don't get a massive cough that day or some crap like that. So j later guys, ranching out. Thanks for having me alongside ranching. GG.